The Oma Umi really thinks she could get away with cheating on Mobad and also giving him a child that isn't his. Before the birth of Liam, there was a love story of two teenagers, Wumi and Mobad. Wumi was first seen by Mobad on one of those days he does his freestyles with his friends on the street of Ikorodu. Being just a street boy, dropout and hustler, he felt intimidated walking towards beautiful Wumi who was studying linguistic at the time in Lagos University. Nevertheless, he immediately fell for her and had the intention of wifing her. With that mindset, he began to push forward for his career and finally got the confidence to ask her out when his freestyle started making heads way in the music industry. Wumi at first wasn't sure since she was a hot cake and had other more promising men on her case. Eventually, she agreed after much disturbance from the singer. After a long time of dating, it was time to make his intention of wanting to not just date her but make her his wife and mother to his kids. Meanwhile, Wumi was also expecting him to pop the question because she felt threatened with so many girls coming around him now that he had signed with Malian and was making hit songs. After so many arguments from Wumi on how Mobad had other intentions now that he was famous to just use and dump her, he finally asked Wumi to marry him and she said yes. But Omo Wumi, being a very private person, decided to ask for a private wedding with few family and friends in attendance, in which Mobad didn't have issues with as far as she was happy and became his wife. Wumi was very happy after she had gotten what she always wanted, becoming the wife of Mobad. Few months after their wedding, Wumi had a visitor from a family member. She and this family member had a conversation concerning her marriage. To her, Wumi could still be thrown out of the house by another desperate woman without a trace of what they had if she didn't have something else to keep Mobad. Still not knowing what or how to keep Mobad to herself, especially now that he had brought her and her family out of poverty, she further asked her visitor if she had an idea or plan. Her anonymous visitor from her family then suggested having a baby for Mobad as one of the very effective solutions that had always worked and still working to keep a man. But there was a problem with that plan and the problem was the fact that Mobad was rarely around. With him always chasing his music career, it was going to be impossible for him to want a child with all the drama going on in his life. But the family friend suggested the baby didn't have to come from him. At first, she didn't agree to the plan, believing Mobad loved and worshipped her too much to want to get another woman or even have one. But with Mobad's irresistible personality, his fame and money increasing, more beautiful girls began to flock towards his part, and jealousy, desperation, mistrust started blooming in the mind of Wumi. At this point, she was ready to do anything to make sure she had the baby so she could have a stronghold on the singer. But how would she execute the plan when he was really around but also had people keeping tabs on her so she is fine and not harmed? It was a very dicey one for Mumi, but also a risk she was willing to stake for her and her family future. In February 2022, her late husband and some Malian colleagues was arrested by the NDLEA for possession of drugs, which caused his detention with them. While he was detained, Wumi decided to put her plan in place of getting a baby. However, Mubad was released and immediately taken to the hospital after complaining that he wasn't feeling all right. After some time in the hospital and Wumi not visiting, Mubad became skeptical and suspicious and decided to put a call through to his wife, who claimed she was sick at the time. But even if Mubad suspected a foul play, he decided to let the sleeping dog lie. When Mubad got back, Wumi knew she also needed to buckle up and make sure she perfected her plan by making him sleep with her. So she became the nice wife, showing him care, making a video that spoke about his assault, showing more love and also dressing appealing. He eventually fell for her antics and tricks, giving her what she wanted and unknown to him, helping her perfect her plans of having a baby. Few weeks after the closing night, Mobad sent Wumi a message asking her why she didn't leave him when she wasn't feeling him anymore and told her to tell him again where she was during his detention with the NDLEA. Still maintaining silence and not replying to Mobad's messages, he made it more clear in detail and asked why she slept with his enemy. Wumi's heart at this time was beating fast and thinking of so many things she could say to get herself out of this current mess without losing her husband, especially now that she was pregnant. Knowing Mobile loves and cares for her, she defended herself when he finally came back as being the victim. Getting his attention, she explained that when he was in the hands of the NDLEA, she had gone to Naira Mali's house to beg for his release, but they refused and asked that she would have to pay the price of him being released with her body. Not knowing what else to do or who to turn to, she agreed to the bargain and then apologized. A heartbroken Mobad left the house with the intention of not coming back. He couldn't bring himself to believe the girl he loved so much and could die for would betray him but he also compensated himself for the fact that she did it for him and this made it more clear that he had to leave the label. He finally went back to Omoomi and she welcomed him into her arms with the news that she was pregnant for him. Mobad who had decided to forgive her and not look at the past didn't mind asking her whose baby it was and also helped and supported her through the pregnancy. On the 12th of April, they both welcomed baby Liam who he 
showered love, care, money, and attention while he forgot his family and began focusing so much on Wumi, the baby, and her family. Being assaulted again by Naramali talks, which led to him going to the hospital, he called again this time angry that she had repeated the same thing she did formerly by not visiting him in the hospital. More bad wife DNA test saga. You all know this person, right? This is Sam Larry. Do you know why some fans are requesting for more bad wife to do DNA tests? On my one video, don't look like this. So, watch this video and pay very good attention to it. You will find everything yourself before we proceed to others. So, so this is just two minutes plus voice call that is alleged to be more bad wife and more bad. Watch it first because there is a very particular side where you go shock if you reach that side. Before then, please take two seconds, look at your screen, like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed, and hit that bell icon. It won't cost your daughter, and God bless you as you do. Peace. Here is my other WhatsApp that we share the same. That we share the same, my cloud with. Me, I'm not feeling okay in my life again. I swear to you, I leave me, God. I don't want to say you do a while hospital. I don't want to say you. You don't know anything. I swear you don't know anything. I swear to you, I leave me, God. Ever since I've gone to the end in my life, I go. I'm so glad you forgot me. I swear to you, God. I'm so glad you forgot me. 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 Oh my dear, oh my dear forever. Oh my, oh my, oh my, the great life to live. My life, my life, my machine, I'm to walk up. I'm saying to my wife, oh my, the great life, oh my, the good life, oh my, I swear to love you, oh God. I know you're going to say anything, man. You know how to go and call my mom, I'm to make her sad, I'll be, don't worry. I swear to love you, oh God. 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 You can't talk. Where's my other phone? Where's my phone now? Talk now. It's not, it's not your phone. My thoughts are dead. Where, where's my other phone? Yes, I let, let me open the phone. Let, let's prepare the phone. Where is my other phone? Where is my old WhatsApp? We share this in my cloud with, with me and you, Abby. Go on the WhatsApp mission, no. Where's my line? Where's everything? You want to say thing? You want to say post after Abi? To about to about to put on Abi? To about to put on me? To not do my post conversation? But to say post Abi? Oh, oh, my coco! You need to know who you are. 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 Wait, don't even panic. You haven't seen anything yet. This one you just watch is just an introduction. You will be speechless before you get into the end of this video. Just be patient so you won't miss out. So this time, he warned and declared that if he died, she killed him. He even added that he had not forgotten what she had done to him in the past. He just chose to forgive her because of God and she would suffer if he died. Now he's dead and Nigerians are asking to be sure that Liam is Mobad's son before she is given the donation. And much more are rumors circulating that the baby is Sam Larry's child. Could the baby be truly Sam Larry's child? Could Sam Larry be the enemy Mobad was talking about in the message he sent to her accusing her of cheating or could he also be the person who made the bagging of Mobad's release for her body? Could Sam Larry had found out on seeing the boy and wanted Mobad dead so he can have his son? But if you ask me, I would recommend Omawumi Aloba to have the right answers because Liam does look like Sam Larry and no other person from Mobad's family, Mobad himself or even her herself. But at the end of the day, only a mother knows the true father of her child. If you enjoyed this video, click on any of the two videos shown on your screen and see you in the next video.